us in the KUA of News Zoom room. Good morning, Senator. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Sabrina. Good morning, Jason, and the, the listening audience. Good morning. Uh, here, the, the caller, the previous caller, uh, and as far as um, the elig eligibility requirements, you know, really kind of preventing a lot of the people that need this uh, to get the, the All Rise program. Um, yeah, as you know, I, I sent a letter to the governor yesterday saying that, you know, we really need to extend the deadline and remove the caps. I mean, $30 million probably equates to about 36,000 filers. Yeah. And um, I think last year there was about 65,000 people who filed. And even if we accepted everybody, um, you know, if we accepted everybody, I think there's enough money in, in the pot. <laughs> Help everybody, you know, to make it a true all rise that it is. Um, and uh, yeah, it's an, it's unfortunate that um, you know people are having to to deal with the, the stress, uh, both within the community and the, also the employees of DRT. I mean, there's only so much uh, that we can do, right? Um, and but we we need everybody working together. I mean, this is one of those things where, you know, we have to we have to help each other. Ultimately, this money is is to help those in need i think and um you know there, there, there is money that's there it's just a matter of reprioritizing um and it and this money is going to circulate back into the economy so i, I think it's it's you know it's not it's going to help both ways but you you wrote your letter you got yeah. a response though yeah yeah so she's still heard it, she's holding firm to the 30 million uh unfortunately um and uh, i think you know it's yeah it's really about you know i guess where are where are the priorities um you know the 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 whole purpose of aid is to help help those who have been impacted by covid and you know the system that that's currently or how it's being implemented is really kind of exacerbating some of these inequalities um i do want to urge the the listeners to continue to to um to submit their applications though, even though their, their uh, returns haven't been processed. Uh, DRT actually, they've been um, averaging, I think they've been, they've been able to process returns, um, you know, within the six months possibly, yeah, they're, they're doing their best to try to, to comply, but I think they're doing it in quicker time. Uh, as, as far as getting the money out, that's not, that's not the, that's the responsibility of, of Department of the Treasury of, of Guam to get that money out, but the, the returns are being processed uh, quite, you know, quite, um, you know, timely. Uh, so, yeah, don't let that deter you if you, if you, if you find that your, your return is past May, um, you know, continue to, to apply. But Senator, if they apply and their, their refund's not processed, that just means that they're ineligible, right? Uh, at this time, but DRT is also processing returns and they're working um, pretty, pretty timely I think I, I hear that they're working pretty quickly to try to get through the returns um, amidst all the uh, amidst all, um, the implementation of the all rise right. but yeah just just don't let that deter you just just continue to to apply we know that it was uh it was a struggle for a lot of people it was very unnerving to see the video of, of how many people were lined up how they camped out you know overnight um, and then the obvious website uh, problems that unfolded real time right here on the link. Um, and then we started to see uh, the reaction from uh, the governor in uh, text messages. Uh, you know, the deputy of Revan Tax didn't even know the website was down until we told her about it. Um, but if you look at the governor's social media, they're kind of turning this into a win. What do you make of that? Because at the end of the day, from Adeloupe's perspective, they're saying that, oh, well, yeah, all that's happened, but we still received 20,000 applications. Yeah, um, it just shows that our community is really in need <clears throat> and we need to address this. Um, you know, I think that needs to be, you know, it's, it's pretty evident that our people in need and uh, the response is not sufficient. Um, I, I feel that, um, you know, I think this is something that, you know, we should, you know, we're kind of trained to do. I think growing up here in Guam is we come to people's aid, you know, during whether it's a typhoon now, you know, a, di a different type of emergency. This is a, a, you know, this is a public health emergency and with impacts to our economic uh, uh, finance, within the financial uh, impacts as well. 
well. You know, the, you know, basically it's like we, we can't continue doing what we were doing in the past to really address this. I don't see the response, um, you know, and, and we haven't heard what, what the plan is for the ARP money. Yeah. I mean, it makes you wonder what can senators really do? Yeah. I mean, write a letter and the governor will come back with like, it's, it's, you know, I have the authority. Yeah. It's, it's, I'm not even you sure can't what say anything. I mean, what can senators do? It's like you guys are struggling to find your role. And I mean, you're supposed to be a co-equal branch of government, but I hate to say it, the governor is kind of, um, I don't want to say rendered you guys useless, but Sabrina has a point. The most it seems like you guys can do, and I'm, it's not for lack of trying. I know yeah. you're passionate or whatever, but writing letters and that's it. And like, what can we do? We're asked for the plan for months. Mm -hmm. No plan. You ask for yeah, the rise no to be played. Plan. They don't pay it. She comes with this new program that's a total cluster mess. So I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I want to bang my head on the wall. It's frustrating. Yeah, we overrode the veto too for Bill 75. Mm -hmm. So. I mean, that is law. Uh, you're right. It's it's very difficult to get some sort of uh, a response or at least the response that we need in the community. Uh, there is time still. And um, I know there are other bills coming through uh, to help kind of address that. So that is definitely weighing in on my decision uh, as far as my vote for, for many of these bills that are going to come through as far as you know, holding, holding, um, you know, making the legislature a, a co-equal branch of government. Right. Maybe you guys should do a bill to make the legislature a co-equal branch of government. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Senator. We're going to take a call real quick. <laughs> oh, man. The link. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Um, better than yesterday. It was just so disgusting yesterday to see that whole process. I mean, I'm thinking of this woman who has been elected to govern our island and i'm also thinking wasn't she in hair care i mean shouldn't you have some kind of compassion you're a woman a mother a wife a sister a daughter how how could you come to a decision that has subjected the people to all this unnecessary chaos i mean to see our manamku out there in the line didn't they suffer enough when they fought for all of our freedoms today it, it's pathetic. You forgot Hello? to say nurse. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, she's she's a retired nurse. I mean, shouldn't there be some kind of compassion in there being in that field? I know. I thought the future was. I thought the future was Femalau, and what happened? She's worse than a man. <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly going to agree with you there because this is probably by far one of the worst administrations that our our island has seen. This woman has not made any um, public appearances. Her, her appearance in the public or the community has been very scarce, hiding behind her social media posts after she hired whatever the hell that was for social media consulting. You know, come on out. I have seen you guys out there with the community. As, as the risk you guys are taking, I have seen our superintendent going out to the schools. I have not seen our governor anywhere but on her, her Facebook page or Twitter. What's that gonna do? That doesn't answer questions. And even when we do re reply to her post, we get nothing. Man, we have the smartest listeners. Yeah. Mm. It's like that, that's just part of the commentary. I mean, it was just so sad to see that our, our Manamko had been subjected to all of that. Mm -hmm. We should not have to, I, the, the gentleman who had to leave his his wife, right? His disabled wife. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that did it for me yeah. yesterday. I, mean, I was even in the old gentleman when Chris was out there doing the interview. I mean, they can barely stand. I mean, there's there's even just to stand up for your driver's license. It's a long freaking process. Why would you want our manumku, our disabled, our veterans to come out there and do something like this? very disappointing yeah. you would expect you know a woman i'm not saying that men are, are, are wrong but you would expect the woman to have a little bit more compassion in her heart to not want our people to go through things like this feel you 
<laughs> All right. But you guys are doing a great job. Thank you so much for siding mm-hmm. with the people. I listen to you every morning and just a little bickering. That, that kind of puts me in a good mood. <laughs> Thank you so much for being there for the people. Thank you. Sometimes it's healthy to emote. Huh? Okay. Sometimes it's healthy to emote. Too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, I, I'm at this point where I'm sure we all remember the movie Beetlejuice. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, those scenes where they step out and you're in a whole new place. I kind of feel like that when I leave my house. Yeah. I'm safer inside. Yeah. yeah. Well, you'll be safe, okay? Yeah. All right. You guys too. Have a good day. Thanks, thanks for Take your support. Care. Take care. All right. Oh, man. You know, sadly, Senator, a lot of people feel that way. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I think the online filing, I mean, if that's, I, that's definitely, the, I think, the way to go because um, the processing happens much quicker. Yeah. And um, I think, yeah, that, yeah, you're right. It, it is it is a hardship that, uh, an unnecessary hardship that people are put. Um, but in, in terms of still applying, uh, for those that haven't applied, you know, online filing is is, um, is the preferable way to go. Um, it um, I've heard that uh, it it took like maybe five minutes in the afternoon, so it did clear up in the afternoon. Yeah. yeah. And um, I heard uh, that some people were able to do it within five minutes. Um, and uh, yeah, it's still yeah, I still want to um, encourage people to still apply yeah. despite yeah. the um, you know processing of. of if their uh, tax returns haven't been filed or haven't been processed, um, DRT is getting to them. So Will it kick you out? Will it kick you out of, um, if you're filing online and your your tax hasn't been validly filed? I think there's a uh, screen that pops up. I believe up. not. No, yeah, I believe not. They would have okay, to. Okay, it would uh, still go through. Okay. Um, I, I believe just continue to to um, to submit it. What What would you say to those? Uh, yeah. So you're telling people to continue to submit it, but uh, like we discussed earlier, and even with you, we don't know where we're at with the thirty million dollars. Um, but I would do the same. Hey, guys, go apply, and then if there's so many of you that didn't get money, make a lot of noise, and then maybe the governor will cave and you know lift the cap a little bit so that everybody gets some. Yeah, I I think so. I think yeah. Don't uh, don't don't yeah. Um, have them be the ones to tell you that you're not eligible. Right. You got you got because a couple. It, it's it's a moving target because DRT is still processing. Correct. Yeah. yeah. And when I talked to Daphne early this morning, she said that uh, they began processing uh, yesterday morning, and um, they don't have a read on how many applications are for single and how many are for uh, joint filers. Uh, but Senator, before we let you go, you do have a was a couple of public hearings this morning. Uh, yes, it's uh, for um, a nomination, um, Claire Degado, for the Real Estate Commission, and then I have two bills for Guam EPA. One of them would remove the caps for penalties, okay. and this is, was in response to the Marble Cave uh, incident. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we want to encourage people to, to provide testimony. By any chance, did you meet with, with any of the U.S. EPA representatives that were on island, or do you know uh, anything... Uh, about their visit or what they may have found um, from based on their inspections? Uh, no, I haven't gotten the briefing uh, from from uh, Walter yet, so he was going to provide some information on that. Today? Is he going to provide you information today? He, he is actually um, probably a separate briefing. Okay. I'm not sure <laughs> I have to follow up with him. Okay. okay. Yeah, we've Senator. been trying to get an update on, on what happened during that visit. So Maybe they're working on the video. Thank you, Senator. Thanks, Senator. Hang in there. We'll be watching yeah. at that public hearing. 9 a.m., right? 9 a.m. Yeah. Bring it in, guys. Let's go, Guam. One, two, three. Go, Guam. Right on. Six, uh. seven, yeah. one. Uh. Thank you, Senator. Thanks, Senator. Yeah, guys, it's so easy to get down. I was down last night thinking about all this. You were down last night? Yeah, I was just, just oh, God. And, you know, because we l- were in it yesterday morning, and I didn't really have time to <laughs> process it until... <laughs> I laid down. I was like, "Holy, holy Mac!" Um, let's play this story. Actually, let's go to the. Oh, we got we got that clip from Mr. Santos. I believe uh, the we'll doc, get that. Docs on the phone. We'll get coming up. Yeah, we're gonna switch gears now, uh, guys. COVID <coughs> rules here. the day. Okay. Yeah, I know. Read the numbers at least. Yeah, let's go ahead. Before we go in with uh, Dr. Hoa, we got.